the Gumwa West District Assembly has a population of a little over 40,000, with Tapam as the district capital. The major occupation of the people of this area is farming and fishing. Over the years, and they have been caused by residents for improved healthcare services in the enclave. Residents also say the lack of adequate infrastructure has led to many health professionals seeking posting elsewhere. Despite efforts by the Gumwa West District Assembly to get accommodation for healthcare workers, there is more to be done. Dennis Naibon Sorim is the acting health director for the district, and he spoke to City News about the challenges. In Gomorrah West, we are experiencing some uh, infrastructure deficits. This is because uh, there are some cheap zones within the district where we still do not have permanent structures where nurses can reside and then render quality health services to the people of the district. So how, how is that affecting the delivery of health care? Uh, it's actually affecting the delivery of health care services because there are times where uh, nurses will have to reside in a particular area and give services at all times, in the day, in the night, at any point in time. But here's the case, if there is no structure for the nurse to stay in there, it means the nurse will have to move to a different community to look for accommodation. And then the question we ask ourselves is, what happens if a, a resident in that particular area falls sick in the night? It means the nurse is already away. In that case, the client will not be able to get adequate health care services within that particular locality. Okay. The, the whole district looks uh, uh, rural. Okay. And everybody wants to be in the city. All of us want to be in town where we can pick a taxi and Uber and all those places. But Goma is not like that. We have a very vast area of land, not well connected with tariffs. In fact, the, the whole district is only the main road. Accra Kipos Road that we can confidently say is good, but within the district, they are not as, I mean, more travel as uh, we want them to be, where we can quickly move at any point in time to, I mean, go and render service at a different location within the district. Member of Parliament for Gumwa West, Richard Jan Mensa, who was speaking at the health screening exercise organized by the Qatar charity, laments the lack of development within the district pushing most professionals out of the district when posted here. According to him, he has put in several measures to ensure that professionals who are posted to the enclave stay, but says more support is needed from the central government. When it comes to health delivery, especially in the hinterland, most of the communities cannot access proper health care. Uh, we have a polyclinic in Dirampon, which currently is not operating fully as a polyclinic. It is just operating as a health center. We have a health center at Gumwa Ishim, which is not fully equipped. We have a health center at uh, Brofo, which is not fully equipped. You know, looking at the network, the road network of our area, we have a very poor road network. So when people are in critical health needs, transporting them even to the, the district hospital is a challenge. So I believe that if all these health centers that we have at strategic locations are fully operational, at least they would be able to serve the health needs of the people within the catchment area. The Municipal Health Directorate in APAM believes there is a need for more infrastructure to help in healthcare delivery. Carve Estete, City News, APAM.